Hello my little cupcakes! Today I'm here with you with another Perler Bee tutorial. In honor of Pink October Breast Cancer Awareness Week, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable pink bows. If you haven't noticed, I've been really obsessed with Perler Beads recently because not only they are incredibly affordable and easy to create, but there's so many things that you can make. So in honor of this month, I decided to make pink little bows that you can put in your actual hair and I think it makes the most adorable hair accessory. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get this tutorial started. For this project in particular, you're going to need a lot of perler beads. I purchased mine from Joann's but you can get them at any craft store. And you're going to need a perler board to put all of your perler beads on top of. I chose two shades of pink, a black and a white color perler bead and divvied everything up so it makes my project easier to create. For the center of my bow, I formed a white little cross down the center and used some light pink perler beads to fill the upper left hand corner of the circle. To make the bow look more three dimensional, I layered the bottom part of the circle with a darker pink shade and outlined the entire circle with a black outline. As a general tip, use a toothpick to help pick up the perler beads if you have a hard time picking up smaller objects. Alright, so moving along, you're going to form the right side of your bow and I'm going to form the outline first. So just take some black perler beads and form a diagonal line that goes up to the right hand corner and jagged straight down and back to the center of the bow. In case you're wondering, I'm actually using a pattern that I found on Pinterest, but if you want to create a brand new organic bow of your own, that's absolutely fine. Honestly, any shape of a bow, as long as it looks pretty similar, is going to look nice as long as you shade it in properly. And of course, the key to having a really nice bow is also to make sure it's very symmetric. Alright, so I'm going to color in my bow by giving it some highlights as if the light is coming in from the upper right hand corner. So I'm adding a little bit of white perler beads into the upper right hand side. And I made sure that after I formed the left part of the bow, I also put some white perler beads on the upper right hand side of that bow as well. Start filling in your bow with some pink color and don't forget to add some little black perler beads around the center to make it look like it's crinkled a little bit like a three dimensional bow. For areas where you expect more shadowing, use the darker colored pink so that again, your bow looks more three-dimensional. If you guys find this tutorial a little too difficult for you to follow, you can always print out a bow of your choice and slide it underneath the clear perler board and just bead it that way. For those of you guys who are new to perler beads, this hobby does require more patience, but I will say it's a very affordable hobby to have and it's incredibly easy to do perler bead. But again, you do need some patience to create this project. As you can see here, I'm filling in all the pink colors into my bow. And if you are happy with the way your bow looks, you can completely stop right here and go ahead and melt all your beads together. But I wanted to give my bow the two little ribbon tails at the very bottom. So again, with my black perler beads, I'm gonna form the outline on the bottom and again, the key is to make sure that both of them are symmetrical. Fill in the pink shade colors and make sure the darker pink is focused near the areas where the bow crinkles and has more shadows. And fill in the rest with the lighter pink and your bow is pretty much almost done. When you are done, move your piece to an iron safe place area and protect it with this, it looks like tissue paper, but it's actually some sort of perler bead protective paper that comes with most sets and iron your beads until they melt together. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds. Just set it aside to let it cool down. Now if you want to make the smaller version of the bow, you're going to need smaller beads and these are actually not perler beads at all, they're hamna beads, but essentially they are just like perler beads but much smaller. I'll provide a link below if you wanted to purchase them. I imported all of mine from an online website called hamnabeads.com. I am using pretty much the same colors, same pattern and technique as I did for the larger perler beads, but on a much smaller scale. If you weren't very patient with the larger perler beads, let me tell you that Hamna beads take a lot more time and patience just to ensure that each of the beads go where they need to be. Once you're happy with your bow, just iron them and you should have two adorable little bows and of course you can make as many as you want. 
I just think this project is so easy and simple and makes a really nice gift and what better way to honor Pink October than to have adorable pink bows in your hair or wear as accessories. If you would like to turn yours into a hair accessories like mine, you can just hot glue a bobby pin to the very back of your hair bow or a scrunchie, whatever type of hair accessory you'd like. It just so happens bobby pins are the easiest for me. I think this project is just so fun and colorful and incredibly unique. I love to style it out when I go out with my friends just because not very many people have them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, which of course is inspired by the Pink October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And for more videos like these, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out my dog, Coconut, be sure to check out my other channel, Mio Mango, for more. See you guys soon and good luck!